Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the week of May 20th through the 26th. This is for Scorpio. What do we have for the week ahead for Scorpio? You probably don't want me to take those cards, do you? But I'm going to anyway. Um... You may be hoping for the best, okay? I think that you are. I think that you're hoping for the best. Right now, you may be stuck in a situation. You may be trapped. It could be in your own prison, all right? This is mentally trapped, all right? Tied up. You're stuck. You may be in a place of, you know, entrapment. Um, now, this is a card of happiness. It's a card of celebration. It's a card of friendships. Let your friends help you. Lean on your friends if you need support. Just saying, for some of you, that, that, is, that is something that you need to consider. For some of you, maybe you need to put yourself out there. This is socializing. Go have some fun. Start dating. Somebody may be stuck on something, you know, keeping, their, keeping a blindfold on when they need to open their eyes. So, this is get prepared. Something is arriving. You may, you know, hopefully you are prepared for it. Get prepared. Maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe right now you're getting prepared. This is hoping for the best, but something is arriving. Now we got this false contract right here that is probably keeping you stuck. Some of you are stuck on a partnership that you probably aren't very compatible with. Some of you. There's indecision. There's indecision about breaking free. There's indecision about stepping outside of your comfort zone. There's indecision about going out and having some fun and dating again for some of you. Something is approaching. Something is approaching. This one stayed, so we're going to take it. Queen of Swords. Yeah, something is approaching. you got to be optimistic. Try to be optimistic. Try to look at things from a new perspective. Ooh, it looks like you guys, you, somebody may be avoiding the truth about a partnership, you know. I gotta be honest with you, okay. Somebody may be unaware of that there's somebody better, okay, the lover's card comes up, there's a, there's a, there's a choice, whether it's reversed or upright, you may, not, you may be holding on to the wrong one, and you do have somebody better, okay, um, somebody is not making the right judgment call, and I think it's by holding on to a false contract, I just got to be honest with you, this is a loss, this is a loss of some sort, Loss of friendship, perhaps, or a loss of, I don't know what. Ooh. Let me just make sure that this is focused. Hmm. There's difficulty in communication here. There is. There's difficulty in communication. Somebody is... Is, is keeps looking at somebody they lost. It's like they keep, uh, that they've almost lost, you know what I mean? It's whether they've lost them or they have almost lost them or whatever, so if they keep on, it's like up there, it's almost an obsession over this person. It could be even a vindictive nature, you know, trying to act vindictively, payback, payback. Payback does not end in success, just so you know, I'm not saying that's what's happening, but. This could be the other person trying to pay you back. I don't know. Anyway, I don't even know where that's coming from, but it came out of my mouth. So this right here is lack of teamwork, no communication, no communication. Somebody, I think we got somebody here that is holding on to a loss where there's no more communication or there's lack of communication. Could be the other person. The other person could be holding on to you. Somebody's holding on to somebody. And it's keeping you trapped in some ways. It's, it's affecting you because it's keeping you trapped. Now, this Four of Wands right here, this is down the approach. This is down the approach position. So, Four of, four of Wands reverse is really good. It means that there's something unexpected coming in. And this would say the same thing. 
You don't even see it coming. You're not even aware because you're focused on something else. That's what I see. This is an upcoming celebration where you could meet somebody. All right. Um, I think there is a relationship that is about to be more committed. Maybe you start out as friends and you, you get into a more committed relationship. But this is facing your fears. Be optimistic. This is self-loathing, not aware that you that whoever I think you probably have somebody else, but you're there's still somebody else in the way. And remember whoever whoever else you're dealing with is like they want a solid, stable commitment, right? They do. But maybe you haven't been giving them something solid, stable because of I don't know, some false contract. That could be the case. I don't know. Let's let's keep going. Um Somebody is not aware that they have somebody better suited for them. I, just, I I gotta be honest. That is exactly what this is. They're not communicating with this perfect one right now because I think they're in some sort of, I don't know, situation that's keeping them stuck. But this is seizing the opportunity. This is seizing the opportunity, taking the opportunity for love. Letting go of regret. It's the end of stagnation. I think I'm going to take this new love. I'm going to look forward now. I'm going to leave this 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 past un incompatible person, but you know what? You don't obviously don't think that, but anyway, this past contract behind because there's been no reconciliation, there's been no resurrection. You know, this person isn't waking up. They're not changing their mind. For some of you, I see you guys perhaps deciding to take the new route the new route to seize the new opportunity and commit to somebody else maybe you met this person online maybe you met them on a dating site or you met them out partying with your friends or it's a friend of a friend or you or it's at a celebration because these are both celebrations you go to some sort of celebration say this week just an example could be a party of some sort or a reunion because this is a reunion you go to some sort of it could even be a family thing, you know, and family brings people, or they bring their friends and shit like that. Anyway, I don't know. But this is, this is, uh, unexpected. It is definitely unexpected. So expect the unexpected. Um, it could come from a loss of some sort. Now, this is a loss. What the hell is that? Ace of Pentacles. Reversed. A lost opportunity. Now this is a rejection. Could be from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be from anybody, okay? We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. There's there's somebody that's not reciprocating. Okay, they're not reciprocating. They're not giving to a situation. And you are being called to focus on the future, not the past. I'm serious. Focus on the future, not the past. This is the past. This is the future. Focus on the future, not the past. Please, you have a future opportunity for commitment here with somebody that is better suited for you if you could stop looking at the past. Somebody is trapped in the past. I'm sorry. For some of you, this past is trapped on you. They're stuck on you. And it's causing you, you know, it's hindering your ability to move forward for some reason. It could go either way. Somebody is keeping you stuck. They're keeping you trapped. And you have somebody that is better suited for you that could... You know, you could have a really deep connection with. This is seizing the opportunity for new love. Going after happiness. Coming out of depression. Letting go of sadness. It's like you guys, it's like, it's like you guys have been hiding yourself. You guys have, you've been dealing with Leo. 
could have been dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini. I think I already named a bunch of other ones. But some of you have been, it's almost like letting your energy be stolen by somebody who doesn't care. Doesn't reciprocate. When you have somebody that's better suited for you. You gotta just gotta cross that bridge. You gotta make that choice to cross that bridge and don't look back. Burn it. Burn the freaking bridge. You have options. It's time to expand. Somebody's been waiting, hoping, hoping this person's gonna come back. No, it's a loss. You got somebody better suited for you. Trust me. If you haven't met this person yet, you're gonna meet them at soon. I think it's gonna be at some sort of party. Where there's, I don't know what. Four of coins here. Yeah, somebody's about to open up in a really big way and let go of their obsession. So congratulations. Some of you are letting go. And building a new foundation with somebody else. These fours, fours are about foundations. We have the four of cups, we have the four of coins, and we have the four of wands. This is about building a new foundation. Things have not been stable okay they haven't and it's like you're it's like you have the opportunity to find this new stability with somebody and i think this person yeah you, you probably you may not have met them yet you may have because there could be a previous rejection but you may not have this could be somebody that you don't even know yet but then again you may know them page of coins taurus virgo capricorn this is broaden your horizons you know, take the new path, even if it's scary, even if you don't know what's 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 at the end of the path. You got to do it. You got to do it to get that golden opportunity. You got to follow through and you got to keep going. You got to be disciplined. Stop looking back. Stop looking back at the person that hurt you. That made you sad, whatever. You know, you got some of you are being dishonest and it's time for you to take your power back. You have given your power away to somebody else. Take your power back. Start this new journey with whoever it is. You do have somebody. I think you're receiving a message or you're delivering a message. Somebody is delivering a message, you know, that they want to start something with you. And I think it's something that has been manifested, okay? Somebody has manifested a new opportunity after a lost opportunity, but it's like they're not grabbing it or they're not seeing it. Or it hasn't quite stepped into the picture yet. It's, it's arriving, it's arriving. If it hasn't arriven, arose, whatever the word is, if it hasn't arrived yet, it's coming. But you're going to have to let go of that pain. You got to let go of the pain. You, you do. You, you got to let yourself heal. You, you, somebody is really struggling over an ending. It's time to be happy again. You should be celebrating your life. You know, you have an opportunity to go down a new path. And I think it be with somebody who you could have a deep bond with. Somebody that you could eventually, maybe even end up, you know, definitely committing to. But marrying, perhaps, even. Um, it could be somebody that is a little bit younger than you. But I think it's just a little bit for some reason. I don't think it's much. I feel like this person is completely different than the person that, um, this person is more free spirited than the last one, not as controlling, wherever this person is. I think it's like a, it's like a swap from a, it's like a fire air sign to an earth sign. Maybe earth air. Could be anybody, just saying. But I see somebody seizing an opportunity for love after being betrayed in a big way, in some way, by somebody that they have been holding on to. Now, this is somebody taking that, that step, you know, crossing that bridge, deciding, you know, to focus on their future. I'm going to seize this new opportunity. Because there's no love where they've been. I think somebody is ending a, a situation, making that cut, making that cut, you know, because it's not love. That's not love. You've got three aces reversed. 
It's like you can't change it. You can't manifest it into being. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. And somebody has been trying to with that Ace of Pentacles reversed. That's trying to manifest that name. You know, trying to make that one person come back that isn't meant to be. It doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. Something is arriving that is better suited for you. I just got to be honest with you. But you need to know your worth and you need to be able to struggle through the pain. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. You could be dealing with somebody who's in pain and they're not, they don't see your offer of love because they're in pain. You could be dealing with a person that doesn't know their worth and, and they've been betrayed and they won't accept your love. But there's an opportunity for a relationship here. There's an opportunity to bring relationship growth into this situation. For a relationship to grow with tender loving care. But you're going to have to take a risk. You're going to have to face your insecurities. Make a, make a decision and stick to it. Have a uh, be optimistic, communicate, <clears throat> do your work, investigate, and make sure that you know you do everything in your power to be honest with whoever this is. Be honest. This is somebody that you probably don't see yet, you probably haven't met yet. It's behind, the, it's behind the scenes or it's below the surface. This person is coming in. If you are single, this person is coming in. There's some sort of secrets here. This is investigate. Investigate. Somebody is keeping secrets. They may not be telling you the whole truth. Use your investigative powers to look below the surface of what really is. You know, I feel like there's an unrequited love situation which somebody is reluctant to let go of, but they know deep down, they know, they know, because this, this guy knows he does. He knows that there's a better option. This is a very wise individual who takes the lead. This guy does take the lead to uncover hidden truths. So there's somebody here that is hurting and we have this person that is going to, it's almost like help. This is help. This is. He's coming to help this person. This is your. This is a hero. So Scorpio, you could be the hero. If you're the male, you could be the hero that comes to help this person heal from a painful situation. This person needs your love, okay? Who, if you're dealing with this woman, she needs your love. If, if uh, you are the Scorpio woman, you have this man that is, this is like a hero. This is like a hero. This is somebody who is very confident. This is somebody who has a lot of courage. This is a leader. Like I said, this is a leader. And he's about to uncover something. He's a, He's about to... It's like head in your direction. It's basically to help. It, that's what I see. It's like his intu intuition or his inner guide is telling him that this is a, a definitely very intuitive individual, whoever this is. whether Whoever this is, whether it's you or the other person, we have somebody who is highly intuitive. Highly and it's like they know that this relationship could lead to victory and success if they can break. This is cut cut somebody else out. That's crazy, huh? Oh, maybe it's the other person that needs to cut somebody else out. Somebody needs to cut somebody out. Maybe it's you. Could be the other person. There's 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 choices here. There's options. There's at least two people in the mix here. It's like you, you cut one out and you move into another one. 
somebody has been emotionally unavailable, cold and withdrawn, could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But now there's an opportunity for a new relationship with somebody that is better suited for you, and that is no joke. So anyway, I feel as, it could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo as well. I think I already said that. Anyway, but there's an opportunity to, move in a new direction. This is moving to progress forward. This is with faith, with trust. Believe. Believe that there's a reason. Follow your inner guide. You have a new passionate beginning here. This is a new partner. You have somebody else. It could be a Taurus. It could be anybody. It could be a Pisces. It could be anybody. We have all the signs here. But I do see a new passionate start here with somebody, which you're probably going to have an instant attraction with. That's what I see. You can meet this person at a church. This person could be very, very religious. Very religious individual. Um, but cutting somebody out is paramount. Whether it's the you that needs to do that or the person that you're dealing with. So they have this emp the empress in reverse. Is she's dealing with pain that she hasn't delivered yet. And she needs tender, loving care. And she's probably been dealing with an individual who hasn't been giving her tender, loving care. So she's going to need it. So anyway, I feel as though you do have a new passionate beginning here that could lead to commitment. You probably, it's not, it hasn't been revealed yet. I don't think you know who this person is yet. It's unexpected. You don't know who, you have not met this person yet. That's, that's what I think this is. Well, you may have met them. You may have met them like they may be an acquaintance of yours or something, but you you don't you haven't had that union you know you haven't had that instant that first you know spark yet, but I see it's coming that spark is coming so that's what I got, Scorpio. I don't feel like I need to go any further. I feel like you you may need to retreat and to master your emotions from the wrong one. You know, you're going to have to find your backbone to go down that new path and stop looking back. There's an opportunity for a relationship here with somebody I think that you don't expect. You don't you haven't seen it yet. I think it's going to come instantly. It's going to be an instant thing. It's just going to be like, "Woo, where did you come from?" And you're just going to know. And the other person's going to know. Either you're going to know or they're going to know or you're both going to know. It's like, it's, that's what I see. It's like there's just going to be this instant spark where it's just like, I know. You're it. So that's what I see. This is a, I just cut the deck. A major new beginning right here. Exciting. It's an exciting new beginning. Where this person is ready. Ready to take that leap. And I think you're ready. I think you're ready. This is the beginning of a whole new life for you. A whole new journey. A whole new chapter. So this is the very, 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 very beginning. That's what I see. Destiny. It's destined. It's, it's, it is. It is. I mean, it is what it is. It's time. It's time for your change. It's time for your, or your reward. It's time for your, your new life. No need to resist it. Seize the opportunity when it presents itself to you. Good luck.